Good morning, Grace Harbor College students. This is Dr. Paige Carol Woods bringing a quick video on how to do that CCC link account activation. All right, many of you are first hearing about this right now, or some may have heard about it from your advisor or people around the campus or your faculty members. But CCC link is our new, is going to be our new student technology system. And right now I'm gonna walk you through some steps on how to get activated. So what is CTC Link? CTC Link, I'm sorry, new student technology system. It's user friendly. It will allow you to manage your college experience from mobile, desktop, or laptop. Some things you'll be able to do, view and update your student information and manage personal contact info, register for classes, add and drop, pay tuition and fees and handle financial aid processes. View your grades, track academic goals and apply for graduation and contact your instructor or advisor. This is going to allow us to serve you better as a student. You may ask what is different from your MyGHC account? Well, this, what CTC Link holds is that everything will be in one place for the staff, for the students, for faculty, meaning we'll be able to serve through this one system and not have multiple systems. And it's gonna be better for you as a student altogether. So how do we get activated? So you should be receiving an email informing you about CTC Link and activation that comes on November 18th. If you have not checked your MyGAC email lately, I encourage you to do so. So in that, you'll have some instructions. And if you don't understand them, that's why we have made the video. So there's a how-to quick guides that can be found at this link here, CTC Link Training for Students, Grace Harbor College. So this is actual hyperlink. But if you go to the GHC website, you search in the bar CTC Link, you choose the option CTC Link Training for Students, and voila, you are there. You'll want to click on Activate Your CTC Link Account, and there's a step-by-step -step guide that we're going to walk through right now. So first, on that step-by-step -step guide, you'll have uh, the number one will give you a hyperlink that you can click on to get you to the CTC Link activation slash login page. So you want to click on this HTTPS gateway.cpclink.us. And again, as I said, this is located in the first bullet, and you'll now see a screen that looks like this here on the bottom corner. Okay. So next, we're going to click activate your account. See that big red bold circle? Not a perfect circle, but gets the, you get the idea. Click on activate your account. And then we have a couple more steps. First, you're going to fill in your last first and last name, your date of birth, and your student ID if you're an old student and your CTC link ID if you're a new student. So for everyone here getting this email and you've been here before, you're an old student. So you'll look over here on the left. I mean, I'm sorry, on the right, there is an ID type. It says SID old. How did I change that from over here on the left where it says CTC link ID new? I just clicked the drop down. Okay, I put a red arrow here to show you if you click the drop down, you'll have options. All right, if you are a brand new student, you will be given a CTC link ID if you're a student coming after November 18th. So you won't know you won't have a student ID, but everyone up in, who's a student up until this point will have a student ID and you'll want to place that right here in the ID type SID old. And then you click submit. The last step, you set your new password by following the prompts on the page. Now you're activated. Play around in CTC Link to get used to the system. If you have not done the Canvas modules, you can find them at the CTC Link Training for Students page. They are very valuable in um, assisting you through this process and learning the different tiles in the system and how they all connect and where you can click. But sometimes the best thing is just to get in there and click around and see what you learn. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to your advisor, whether they are in the advising center, trio or faculty we are all here to serve you let's dig in there will be one other video on how to get registered for classes in the future thank you